This video will cover the topic, Composition of a Trigonometric Function with the Inverse of Another Trigonometric Function. Problem Type 3. What would a problem in this topic look like? Well, let's look at a few example problems to get an idea. A problem of this type might ask us to find the exact value of the inverse sine of the cosine of 4 pi over 3, and to write our answer in radians in terms of pi. We will begin this problem by determining what the cosine of 4 pi over 3 is equal to. This results in negative 1 half. So now we have the inverse sine of cosine of 4 pi over 3 equals the inverse sine of negative 1 half. This results in negative pi over 6. Why does the inverse sine of negative 1 half result in negative pi 6? To answer your question, let's look at some facts about inverse trigonometric functions. The inverse sine function means that the sine of y equals x, and y is in the closed set of negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. The inverse cosine function means that the cosine of y equals x, and y is in the closed set 0 and pi. The inverse tangent function means that the tangent of y equals x, and y is in the open set of negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Since we are looking for y equals the inverse sine of negative 1 half, we know that we are looking for an angle in the closed set of negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, such that the angle of y equals negative 1 half. The only angle in this set that fits this description is negative pi over 6. Therefore, we can write down that the inverse sine of cosine of negative 4 pi over 3 equals the inverse sine of negative 1 half, which equals negative pi over 6. Okay, I think that makes sense, but can I try another example to see if I understand? Let's say we are asked to find the exact value of the inverse cosine of the sine of 7 pi over 4, and to write our answer in radians in terms of pi. First, we need to determine what the sine of 7 pi over 4 is, right? That is correct. The sine of 7 pi over 4 equals negative square root 2 over 2. Therefore, the inverse cosine of the sine of 7 pi over 4 is equivalent to the inverse cosine of negative square root 2 over 2. Good job! Keep going! Since we are looking for y equals the inverse cosine of negative square root 2 over 2, we know that we are looking for an angle y in the closed set of 0 pi such that the cosine of y equals the negative square root of 2 over 2. The only angle that satisfies these requirements is 3 pi over 4. That is all correct. Excellent work! To summarize, when we find the exact value of a composition of trig functions with the inverse of another trig function, we first simplify the trig value inside the parentheses, and then find the value of the inverse trig function. Correct! It looks like you are getting a hang of this topic.